episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we're the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the Explosive One, and we have our very special guest. It's me, Mr. X. You damn right. He's made it the whole week, folks. I've made it. This has been the most enthralling week of my life. Never yep. forget. Never surrender. No. Never. Never surrender. Frolicking oh, through the meadows. Oh, you get new parts, dude. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Can I use it? We got to It has a guy there, so... I don't want to talk to people, Jonas. They're going to want to say stuff. Put them in. Maybe he's going to put a special part in there that makes you win. No, nah, he's not. He's going to just sit there and be like, holy crap, how'd you get this thing to work? And I'm going to be like, dude, because I'm like the chosen one or whatever. Is that like a gumball machine? What is See? it? See? I told you. Huh? What? It just rolled out there? Yeah, dude. I'm the chosen what? one. <laughs> is that what I think it is? So strange, the artifact was intended to produce Zonite devices, huh? But what would the Zonite people have built such a thing? Would, why would they done that? I don't know. I couldn't begin to guess. I couldn't even guess. I don't know, man. I mean, you need figure it out. You, need a piece there. Ooh, you got a balloon. Let's, uh, if we look at the map, then we can see what it can produce. So it only produces big wheels, fans, balloons, and stabilizers. At least, I mean, yeah, you don't have all balloons or stabilizers, but yeah, good. Uh, but, you know, the stabilizers are the thing we just got out of, or uh, we were just messing around with. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, those things are cool. You mean yesterday? Uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah yesterday. We yeah, were that's just messing that's around good. with yesterday. Because <laughs> obviously, uh, I play 15 minutes of this game a day. <laughs> That's what's happening here. That's what's please, going on. Please sit down for 15 minutes and record an episode of Mr. Well, X. we have a lot of things going on. We're busy people. <laughs> Mr. X stays the night for 15 minutes <laughs> of recording yeah, for right. a whole week. Nobody, nobody's buying that one. Oh, There's a lot of prep work that goes into these episodes. I mean, I, I think, I think oh you guys God. are giving you guys enough. Please sit uh, down. Well, you, you, I mean, you're not giving yourselves enough credit. Like, you know, all, the, all the research I'll do and... I've been impressed. I really yeah, have. Yeah, I mean, right. I'm glad you're impressed. We shoot for the yeah. stars. You do. You do. Hey, you hit the clouds sometimes. Sometimes you hit the cloud, but you know. Honestly, we don't get enough credit for all the work and hard effort we do put in. You don't. You don't. You don't. So I'm, yeah, I'm here to give you all some some kudos, give us props, some affirmation, affirmations, yeah, all the right. things. We're yeah. Like, we're like the sovereign soldiers that just don't. You know, honestly, they talk about stolen valor. I feel like we're not getting the valor that we need. Did you guys hear about the 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 Chinese waterfall. Oh, they found out it was a water pipe? It was actually, it's like the tallest waterfall in China, and they found it's actually just a pipe. Yeah, a guy went up there, and there was a pipe pumping water. <laughs> pumping water out, and there's like, and you, apparently you can look at the cliff, and you can kind of see where they built the pipe up through the cliff. Yeah, but no one, they didn't expect anybody to go up there. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah. So they were just, they just been faking a waterfall? <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the community yeah. has just been like, yeah, it's a waterfall. It's, They're like, it's like this super like thousand foot waterfall or something. It's Beautiful, like, ain't it? Bro. Apparently all like, fake. Like there's a point when your government is lying to you and there's a point where your government is just like you're an idiot. There's, then there's China. <laughs> then there's China. And China, <laughs> yeah. that's something special. It's going to like make a fake tall waterfall. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I like the fact that my government, like I'm, like I'm an idiot to them, but you know. Get out of here, bees! Save yourself, bees! I want your honeycomb. Yeah, I, at least our government, you know, lies to us, and we, you know, they make it believable. Put it in the believable packaging. <laughs> they aren't just like, here's a waterfall. It's like coming out of the top of a mountain. You're like, wow, they have Yo! a water source up there. Hey, you there? Uh oh. Come here. This is a cutscene I ran into last time I was flying through uh -oh. here. Oh. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders. You so you'd better be on your way. Okay, I got you, buddy. I really want to get in there and poke around on Zelda, though. Oh wait, wait that's not what it's. Excuse says. me. <laughs> okay. He's kind of a he's kind of a I dirty mean, old man. Is yeah, what's going it, on it here? Fits, it fits the, uh, yeah. the character. Is this the end of my dream that someday Princess Zelda will call me Doctor Callum? Oh man! What the hell? Bro? Call me Daddy is what he wants. What? Hey, you, hey, there. you okay, there. I won't go back. I get it. Okay. We I gotta watch go. this cut stream again. No, I don't wanna please. Haven't stop. you heard? I wanna stop, poke stop, Princess okay, Zelda. Okay. Yeah, I get it. You're dirty. You're gonna call man. me daddy. What the hell? What are you, man? That's that's disappointing. Look at this guy. Oh wow. He looks like a Street Fighter 2 character. He looks <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Looks like an Austin lawyer. <laughs> you know the one. One of the one, yeah. the one, the one that rocks. <laughs> yeah. uh, the ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins of research, especially this one. Way, the way it part and floats up there. See, you the had the foresight to focus on all these special Thank ruins you. and invent the survey <laughs> team to uh, take a look uh. at. It. I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh, no, I'm no chief. I couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only. Still, I still have a great deal to... Hmm. <gasps> oh, is that you, Master Link? Yes, yeah, me. I'm here. I'm here. We here. Oh, we didn't <laughs> see you standing there. I'm so happy you. I get to see you again. Yeah, you grew up a little Paya. bit. Paya. Paya, chief of the Cockring Village. I used to know a Paya. In, like, real life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was she cool? Uh, I don't know. I was, like, young or whatever. I'm overjoyed. Both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. <laughs> did you just turn into, like, a radio host? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Casey Kasem. Casey the, the Zelda, who appeared after the upheaval, is an imposter <laughs> born of the Demon King. And the real Princess Zelda is still missing. <gasps> are you serious, Master Link? It's certainly hard to believe. Like Yet I find it impossible that you would make up such a thing. I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't. I would not. This do that. request is going out. Come to think of it, Princess Zelda, who came to Cockring Village, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like a, it's like an NBA announcer. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> she ordered us not to let anyone near the floating ring ruin, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to get in there. I'm gonna have to get in there, though. You gotta do it, bro. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. The ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pia and I suspect at least. <gasps> oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zone Eye Survey Team. <gasps> I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He is truly an incredible talent and individual, and he knows how to hit the spot. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, I think, think, think yeah. Toro's been hitting, hitting Pia's spot a little bit. Of, well, you know, I'm right. She's, she's Don't done. talk to my girl, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, bro, I gotta go surfing later, and you're like talking to my chick. This isn't cool. Am I supposed to ring this? No, uh, you can't. No, oh, it's clear the floating ring ruin that we are forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. <laughs> Several more ring ruins of such shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that the stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ruin is floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Till now, I'd given up on investigating the ruin, believing Princess Zelda's orders were for the best. But if that princess was an imposter, that changes Ooh. everything. <laughs> it does. It would. It does. Princess would. Zelda's imposter, the Demon King's underling, forbade anyone from investigating the floating ring ruin. Mm. That must mean that doing so would pose a threat to the Demon King. <laughs> this guy's a genius, too. Uh. Big, big, <laughs> and a genius. <laughs> if... That is the case. We must survey that floating ring ruin as soon as possible. All right, let me in there. Right, you are, Mr. Taro. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. All right, let me get in there. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once. All right, let's go. Let's talk about it more. Mm. Knowledge is power and tugging on the line. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> power, dude. Time, Time to, to reel in, in some, some results. results. We got to hit some more cheesy lines where you're going to do anything. Hee <laughs> hee. Mr. Lion. Phrasing is coming through. Where did this voice come from? I got tired of doing the other one. Fair enough. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking talking. It's That's a lot, I, dude. I, I'm yeah, like, dude, you, hey, you, look. Hey, it was, hey. It wasn't you, it would be me. It was somebody <laughs> talking. It was somebody somewhere had to write all of this. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how this conduct the survey. It's not a problem. Hmm. I got it. Just shut it's the fuck up. It's clear that the interior of the ring ruin is hollow. Okay. 
Oh. There doesn't seem to be an entrance except the entrance on Paya. <laughs> That's not what he said. If the content <laughs> of the other ring ruins. <laughs> you had the straight. That's not what he said. I skipped it like Wait said. a minute. That's not what he said. I can read the words. It's the content. Not just of the ring ruins or any indication. There should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. All right. That's all that while I was up there. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab because Paya wants a stone slab inside of her. No. However, we don't also we we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. I don't want to damage the ruins, dude. <laughs> or Paya's Pardon me. Precious. I was lost in thought. We got to talk about some more shit. I'd better hurry and tell everybody something. <laughs> hey, look, it's over, dude. It's done. Hey, dude. hey, that. <laughs> No, lot. it's not. He's back. It was a lot. No, it's yeah. done. It's oh, done. it's done? Yeah, oh, the old done. guy's over there. Have we talked to him yet? No, and see, this is why I avoid talking to every character in the game. Yeah, dude. Because they do like I to think. talk a lot. You can't X out of that shit? I mean, you, you can, skip but story. Really it, it was really was entertaining. I, I'm going to say something. You did a wonderful <laughs> job. I appreciate it. Because if it wasn't you, it would have been me. Because I hate doing it. I, well, it, it, it is fun. Refuses to but do that it was anymore. a lot of bullshit. It's a lot. I don't you don't like reading? I, I don't know. like reading, makes, dude. That makes three of us. I, I mean, I do like reading, but not characters in a video game that I don't care about the story. <laughs> I mean, that's nonfiction. So you don't like reading nonfiction? Uh, no, really. fiction, right? Isn't it fiction? That's what I meant, fiction. Yeah. It's the fantasy thing. Yeah, I don't really read fiction, though. I don't blame you. I don't either. I'd rather read a textbook than fiction. Yeah, I read articles and stuff about like things and do research on stuff and stuff. Not me. I'd rather read. I'd rather read a video game character bullshit. Uh, really? Yeah. Is that 100%. what you said? Hundred percent. I love it. The conversation all day. Just read. Reading these conversations written by twenty-year-olds that design video games. Twenty-year-olds that design. <laughs> you need it. They're the future of our nation. They sure are. The children are our future. The future is children bright, my future. my friends. I think I you're believe being sarcastic. The children are the future. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Teach them well. Look, on, either way, on the next episode, we will uh, get into the the new shrine. Hopefully, cool. final stage. Are there anything oh, in these boxes? Right. Or That's all time we have today. So please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Mr. X. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs>